Good morning and happy Monday. Well, at least it's Monday for me. I don't know what day of the week it's gonna be for you. Um, I've been super off of my like YouTube upload schedule just because there have been so many other things going on um, that YouTube has kind of taken a back burner, but it's bright and early on Monday morning for me. And basically what this video is gonna be is like a full day of eating as healthy as possible um, and I'm gonna throw in some like meal quick and easy meal ideas um, to share but I have to go try on bridesmaids dresses on two weeks so I want to make sure that I'm like in the best shape possible before we go do that um, so I don't feel super bad about myself the whole time so um, we are going this morning to Trader Joe's first, and then probably just like shop right or stop and shop um, to go grocery shopping, and then we're gonna pick up breakfast on the way home. Um, it's President's Day, but unfortunately, I don't have today off. Um, Scott does, Scott is my boyfriend if you're new here, um, but he is not gonna be home all day, so I'm just cooking for me. Ready to get this going. Okay, quick grocery haul before I eat my breakfast. Starting with Trader Joe's, we got grapes, strawberries. It's a giant package. This thing of heirloom cherry tomatoes. I've never seen those before. They sound good. Zucchini, and a cucumber, some ramen, and a thing of maple chicken breakfast sausage. Let me put this away and then we'll do ShopRite. Okay, and then moving on from ShopRite, I got a bag of baby spinach, a bag of chopped ramen, a little thing of watermelon, Starbucks blonde roast iced coffee, International Delight French vanilla creamer, some vegetable egg rolls, honey mustard. I'm gonna make deviled eggs to have for like breakfast slash snacks this week and I feel like it'll be really good with honey mustard. I saw, um, I think Remy Ashton maybe got these in one of her grocery hauls a few weeks ago and I was like, those sound delicious. Salt and vinegar almonds. I'm a big nut gal, but I'm also a big salt and vinegar gal. So I'm hoping that those will be good. And then the last two things, I got some fried rice to go with my lunch today and some butter and garlic rice to go with my dinner tonight. So. That's the full grocery haul. Time to eat breakfast. Okay, now that I'm getting into actual food I will be eating, I just wanted to talk for a second. Um, I will not be looking at calories. I will not be looking at macros. None of that. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, feel free to click off this video now. Um, I've had a really unhealthy relationship with food my entire life. Um, I have been everywhere on the eating disorder spectrum from not eating at all for weeks at a time to eating everything in sight. Um, so I have been working on this for a long time and I think that, I don't know, I finally feel like mentally I can be in a place where I can eat healthy without restricting myself and without feeling terrible if I like have a cookie. Like I, I feel like I'm finally at that place in my life. Um, so it's exciting to start to see the other side a little bit. But anyways, starting today, I just got a smoothie bowl from Plyo Bowls. There is this Plyo Bowls. So I get from Playa, the Pure Vita Bowl, which I'll put the description on the screen, um, which is just like an acai base with, it comes with strawberries, blueberries, honey, and granola, uh, but I always take the granola out and um, swap it for almond butter. So mine just looks like this. Oh, I lost a blueberry. It's very pretty, very aesthetically pleasing, and always absolutely delicious. Um, when I first started working at my full-time job, um, I would get um, pliables every Monday to like 
treat myself at the start of the week. Um, and when I started going into the office, I lost that. Um, made me stop eating healthy breakfast in the morning, made me stop working out in the morning. Like it, I'm trying to get back on track now. At this point, it's been three months of me being fully remote again and I'm still not. So kicking off this week with pliables, always a great start. Um, always makes me just a little bit more productive on a Monday. So I'm gonna eat this and watch a YouTube video probably and then it'll be time to start working. Okay, I'm like halfway done with this. I'm starting to go through some work emails now, but I forgot. I also went to Starbucks this morning and I was really craving a latte, but I knew this was going to be much healthier. So I got a Trenta Strawberry Acai Refresher Lemonade with light ice and no strawberries. Although it does look like they didn't put the lemonade in it today, which is fine. I was craving an iced chai tea latte with brown sugar syrup. It tastes just like cookie butter if you've never had it. If you've never had it, it's phenomenal. But I knew that this was going to be healthier. Uh, I probably will not f finish this whole thing today, but it is on like the healthier side of the Starbucks caffeine menu if you don't like black coffee. I am on my lunch now, and 99% of the time that I work out during my lunch break, I am riding the bike because we have a Nordic track. But I feel so sore today that it feels like I like pulled my glute muscles um and it's probably because on saturday i went to boston for the day and we walked seven miles and then i just got in a car and sat for four hours to drive home immediately after not doing anything at all for my body so that's not good <laughs> but um usually when i do some kind of like yoga which is what i'm gonna do today to just like stretch myself out i follow a youtube video but not really in the mood to listen to anybody else today. Um, I was a competitive dancer for 15 years and we took modern classes um, weekly, obviously. And during modern, we would spend like 20 minutes doing yoga and then dance. So I think I'm probably just gonna follow one of the like sun salutations we did um, when I danced and then throw in a few stretches that are specifically for your glutes. So I'm gonna put on a nice chill playlist and just uh, make my body feel better, hopefully. It's been 15 to 20 minutes and I'm no longer in a ton of pain, so it's time for a nice little afternoon dog walk. For lunch today, I'm gonna make this bag of teriyaki vegetables that I got from Whole Foods with some of this just microwavable fried rice. Super easy and simple. It comes with sauce and everything, so I literally have to do nothing. I'm gonna cook this, then we're gonna eat. Okay, so in this is Brussels sprouts, broccoli stock, broccoli florets, red cabbage, kale, carrots, pea pods, and then it came with this little teriyaki sauce, so I am just sauteing these up. They cook for just six minutes, and that's it. Super easy. So here is my completed lunch for today. It looks delicious, and then there is enough for a second serving for tomorrow. It's 5.19 now, and I'm pretty hungry, but I'm not ready for dinner yet, so I'm just having these um, strawberry shortcake granola bites that I got from Whole Foods last week. I haven't tried them yet, but they look really good. I'm about to start cooking dinner uh, right now, and I was going to make pan-seared salmon tonight, but I just have too many things to be doing upstairs right now. So, um, I am just going to make this like frozen regular piece of salmon instead. I don't even know what brand it is anymore. Um, I think I got it from Prime Fresh, though, if you're wondering. so. This just has to go in the oven for 25 minutes and then on the side I'm going to make some of these uh, vegetable egg rolls that I got this morning. I was going to make rice pilaf and zucchini but all I've eaten so far today is fruit and vegetables and I feel like I just need a little bit more substance so I'm going to have egg rolls on the side. 
that is the plan for dinner. I'm just going to turn on the oven now. I think, thankfully, they both... Oh, no, they don't. Okay, so these go at 400 and these go at... The salmon goes at 350. So maybe I'll do these in the conventional oven. Maybe we'll just cook dinner while I'm watching Bachelor. But salmon and egg rolls, this is the plan, whether it's right now or in an hour. I'm also going to be filming a video where I try things that influencers like constantly um, are sponsored by. So one of those things is Thrive Market. So I'm just working on placing this order right now. Okay, so here is my lemon and herb salmon. And then I made two egg rolls. That was the serving size. Um, with one serving of it duck sauce. And I felt like I needed some green, so I just threw together this quick salad. Just chopped romaine, cucumbers, heirloom cherry tomatoes, and mozzarella cheese with Catalina dressing. So I'm gonna eat this and keep watching Bachelor. I ended up cheating a little bit because Scott went to our favorite bakery in the town we used to live in to get us mini cannolis. We used to get these, not kidding, every day. We'd walk there, and they're so good. And it was so nice to have one again. Editing Alex popping in here because, as always, I neglected to film an outro. But that is going to be it for this full day of healthy eating with a 9 to 5. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.